So, Court, we're in Central Park. Yep. Let's ask the people of New York City what they think about the economy right now. Even better, being here in New York, we can ask everyone from around the world. Check out this week's Money Minutes to see how the global economy is doing. What do you feel about the economy right now? Is it getting stronger, weaker? What are you feeling? At what point it was getting very weak. I think it's improving a little bit. You feel it, right? I feel that it's, it's, it's coming along. I really do. I think it's in a little better shape than it was before. And uh, in, in Europe, it's so it doesn't go boom and bust. Be, basically, when here it booms, yeah. in yeah. Europe it's more steady. So people think, oh, Europe yeah. is not doing good. But when it yeah. busts here, Europe is a good place to be because you don't have these kind of ups and downs like yeah. we have in the U.S. I think that the economy in this country is good for some people and it's not good for many other people. Disparity of wealth. Disparity of wealth. Yeah. Is it getting better or is it getting worse? I think it's getting worse. The gap is getting bigger. Yeah. Uh, the uh, unemployment is still out of control in France like it's yeah. been for many years. I think I'm optimist, um, yeah. especially like right now, uh, even we have like the trade war. Yes. Um, <laughs> I think maybe the outcome will be good. Like basic staple, like bread. Yeah. Um, the it price is, th French people feel like it's becoming more and more expensive. More inflation is kicking in. Inflation, yes. yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think I need, we need a lot of like old people to step down and more young people to get involved. So she says exactly what we hear in the US. The next yeah. generation is going to suffer, is going to be less at ease, less comfortable yes. than their generation. My uncle is yeah. a doctor, so he was making a pretty good living. Yeah. He retired. But it feels like their children, they have two daughters, my cousins, yeah. I feel like they're not going to do as well as they did. And, and generally that's what hap is happening. Like yes. in the US, the next generation is not as well off as their parents. Well, you know, like news always have some like bias, right? Yes. So uh, the news that we've heard is like, okay, China is doing well and US maybe has some like difficulties. Um, the thing we've seen between US economy and French and European economy in general, yeah. um, okay. US economy is boom and bust. And then, and I I think we're heading towards a bust. The world economy depends where. Latin America is a mess. Right? Is it getting better? No, not at all. It's getting worse. There's a lot of corruption from where I come from. So economy will take a long time to get better. Um, if, you, if you look at what's going on in Brazil, what's going on in Argentina, what's going on in the big countries in Latin America, not only socially, but economically, it's, it's a mess. Maybe we're going for a downturn in the U.S. economy. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. Europe is the place to be right now. Then, from um, an investment yeah. standpoint, like in two thousand and eight. Well, yes, I moved back to Europe. <laughs> really? Okay. Um, the, so, from my perspective, because I study commer commerce, commerce. Oh, so you do. Like, yes. Um, what I've heard is like U.S. is still solid. Yeah. It's hard to attack, like from uh, from yeah. the perspective of in terms of the trade war. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I think U.S. economy is good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's doing well, I think. I think that everything goes back to education. So if we educate people and we give them the tools, I think the rest will get better. That and fighting corruption. So that's what I would do. I would be like merciless with corruption. Oh, yeah, France was not as flashy. People were kind of making fun that oh, yeah. France, they're always behind the pack. Yeah. But when the economy crashed, France was ahead of the pack because they don't do these kind of back and forth. Exactly. Wow, that was actually pretty amazing. I mean, we had people from Italy, mm -hmm. France, China. I mean, we really got the global perspective today. Exactly. And yeah. really, I think the theme that we saw here is no matter whether we were talking about the countries those people were from or from the United States, people are very optimistic with where the global economy is going, which I find is a very positive sign. I don't know about you. Well, I mean, I love the fact that the one from China was kind of yes. like, well, their news is kind of fake. Our news is kind of fake. Um, it's probably a little exaggerated on this whole trade war thing. So yeah. their perspective is almost the same as ours, which I thought was super cool. Exactly. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I think what you want to take away is be bullish on the global economy here. <laughs> Now, if you guys want to stay up to date on our weekly global content, click on the link below and you can subscribe to stay up to date on all of your financial needs. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish.